March is going to be an absolutely crazy month for Ethereum. There's a major change coming down the pike, like in a matter of weeks, and it's going to make the entire space just explode with value. And I mean that by the utility of the network itself. It's going to make Ethereum way more valuable to use as a blockchain smart contract form to do DeFi with, you know, purchase NFTs. And, you know, as always, not financial advice. This very well could have an impact on the price of Ether itself. Because Ethereum, you know, is getting a lot of hate and criticism out there saying it's just it's too expensive, like nobody's ever going to use it. But there's a huge light at the end of the tunnel for that. That's exactly what I want to talk about in this video as a blockchain developer who works with the Ethereum protocol on a daily basis. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to become a blockchain master step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so what is this major change that's coming down the pike for Ethereum in March, like in just a matter of weeks from the time we record this video? Well, it's that a major layer two scaling solution, Optimism, is going to completely go live on the main Ethereum network as a full production layer two scaling solution to help with some of the crazy gas fees that have been going on with Ethereum right now. And I know I've been talking about that some on this channel a lot, especially in these live streams that we do in the morning because it's such a popular topic. And it's one of the most common questions that I get. And a lot of people honestly don't realize this is just around the corner for ETH. So I want to break it down in this particular video. Even though I've made some videos about this in the past, I want to talk about why I'm personally so bullish on optimism and optimistic rollups as a scaling solution, how it can fix ETH gas fees, and why this is such an insanely bullish catalyst just around the corner. And so before I explain all that, let's just do a quick recap of the problem before we get to the solution. Okay, so the big problem with ETH right now is that it's really expensive to use. You know, this is called a scaling problem. All the transactions cost a lot of money, and this is pricing out you know, normal everyday users from getting value from the network, you know, trading tokens on Uniswap using DeFi apps. But this is the natural progression of technological innovation. You can see this report here put out by A16Z that says, you know, one of the lessons from history is that whenever you give developers a powerful new computing platform, they create applications at such a rapid rate that demand consistently outpaces supply. And they say, we believe the same to be true for Ethereum. And therefore, the answer to scaling is all of the above, including Ethereum 2.0, Bridge layer ones and layer two solutions. So we'll talk about, you know, more of those here in a second, but I want to focus on layer two because that's the quickest way to really make this problem a lot better. Well, it basically means creating a new layer on top of Ethereum that you can transact on top of that derives its security from the base chain. That's what a layer two scaling solution is. And there are lots of different solutions out there. But the one that I'm so excited about is optimistic rollups. And one implementation of this optimism is launching in full force in March in just a matter of weeks. We saw this tweet come out recently. They said they hired the dopest rock stars in town. They've expedited their timeline. Mainnet will be open to the public in March. So Optimism's already had its soft launch and we've seen you know different implementations of Optimism in a few different applications. You can see here uh, the demo they did with Synthetic Exchange, which reduced gas costs by 143 times. And then also uh, the Unipig Exchange, which was a testnet demo of Uniswap itself running on optimistic Ethereum with layer two. And this decreased gas cost by 10 to 100x. And so you can see this testimonial here from Hayden Adams, the creator of Uniswap himself. He says, imagine not needing to make any changes to your Solidity smart contracts to have a dApp work natively on an Ethereum layer two with security from Ethereum, massive scaling, no data availability issues, and synchronous interoperability with other dApps on L2. So if that sounds kind of confusing, goes way over your head. I'll explain a lot of that here in a minute. But the important thing to see is that this is a huge endorsement from Hayden, the creator of arguably the most popular dApp on top of Ethereum right now. And it would not be surprising me if they use Optimism, you know, Optimistic Rollups for Uniswap V3 whenever it rolls out. Now, I don't know that for sure. We'll have to wait and see, but that's my hunch. All right, so now let's talk about why I'm so bullish on this particular layer two scaling solution. All right, but before we do that, let's talk about like what a rollup is so that you can understand. And then I'll talk about the big benefits. So a rollup is basically just batching transactions together and including them onto the base layer one chain, like all at one time with, with some delay. So think about the scaling problem of Ethereum right now. So basically you have all these people who are trying to generate transactions, whether they're sending cryptocurrency from one account to another, they're interacting with smart contracts and Uniswap, buying NFTs, et cetera, et cetera. And they're all just trying to get into the network at the same time. Okay, and that creates this massive demand that, that jacks the gas prices up because that's how gas prices work. It's a supply and demand model. So instead of just trying to jam all those, you know, transactions to ETH at once, we take all those transactions um, and we roll them up. Okay, that's hence a roll up. And then they get batched and included uh, into the Ethereum network at the same time all at once. And this is able to drive the security from the base Ethereum chain, but then include a lot of this activity 
on a second layer that can be rolled up and included here. Well, basically, I'm so excited about Optimism as probably the best solution in the short to midterm, maybe also the long term, because it essentially preserves everything that Ethereum has going for it right now. A rich ecosystem of apps with liquidity that all talk to one another, the developer tooling, because that's really hard to recreate, and then also all the user-facing apps that we have, like wallets, et cetera, et cetera. They don't have to change either. So I'll break those down one by one. So Number one, it's relatively easy for developers to migrate their smart contracts to this new layer. There's hardly any friction here, and that's huge. That's because optimistic rollups, specifically optimism, creates something called the OVM, the optimistic virtual machine that's compatible with the EVM, the Ethereum virtual machine, which smart contracts run on right now. And because these two things are so similar, many smart contracts can just be moved straight over with not that much effort. And that's not true of every single scaling solution out there. So if developers can move over faster, that's huge for adoption. So reason number two why I'm so excited about this particular solution is that DeFi smart contracts can interact with one another similar to how they interact with one another on layer one right now. This is what people talk about DeFi's composability. So think about all these apps that talk to one another inside the DeFi ecosystem and talk about money Legos. This all can be preserved on top of layer two. Because don't forget, one of the biggest things the Ethereum platform has going for it is this network effect. Like nobody wants to use a blockchain where there's no liquidity, no other users, no other apps. And Optimism essentially preserves this by making it possible to migrate that over to layer two. So reason number three is kind of similar to number one, but it's a little bit different. And that's the developer tools basically don't have to change. You know, we talked about, you know, relatively easy to put smart contracts on top of there. Well, additionally, the developer tools don't really have to change. Most of them will support Optimism somewhat out of the box without many changes. But the important part is like developers don't have to learn new programming languages. There's hardly any coding changes on the grand scheme of things. And it's got out of the box support for these developer tools. So again, that's less friction for developers to move over, which is huge. So reason number four that I'm so excited about Optimism is that we've seen big endorsements from some of the you know big brains in the space on roll-up technology itself. And Optimism will be one of the first to you know launch this. And so I want to take a look here at what uh, Vitalik Buren, you know, the mastermind behind Ethereum, has talked about you know roll-ups and where they find their place in the overall Ethereum roadmap. Because don't forget, Ethereum is on this journey from Ethereum version 1.0, the version we know today, to Ethereum 2.0. And rollups, these layer two scaling solutions, are an intermediate step to getting from version one to version two. But that short-term move could yield massive benefits. So here he's talking about sort of the long-term roadmap, but uh, you know he has some concerns, et cetera, et cetera, but let's just focus in on this. He says today, you know, Ethereum has about 15 transactions per second, you know, give or take. But if everyone moves to rollups, we'll soon have 3,000 transactions per second. Now, of course, that's not, you know, visa level speeds, but it's way faster than we have today. And then long term, you know, once phase one comes along and rollups move to ETH2 sharded chains, then it can reach a theoretical max of 100,000 transactions per second. And so these will all be insane benefits that we'll get out of this scaling solution. Now, that being said, I want to be 100% clear and transparent that there will be trade-offs for this type of thing, okay? And there are some things that will like they need to be adapted. So for example, like when you're on layer one, you have to migrate your funds over to layer two. So there will be a gas cost associated with that. But I think one thing that can really help out with this is basically whenever you buy cryptocurrency on an exchange and move it off that exchange onto Ethereum for those exchanges to support, you know, layer two withdrawals. And so that way, you know, people who get into the system don't have to go into layer one Ethereum and then pay the extra cost to go to that next layer. And one of the most common criticisms I hear about layer two with optimism is the withdrawal time taking a long time. So this is if you want to go off of layer to back onto layer one. I'm going to reference this uh, research report put out by Paradigm. I'll put a link to this down in the description below if you want to you know, read this more in depth. It's a great article. So part of you know withdrawing, uh, there is a dispute period for rollups because again, this happens on a delay. So they said, you know, we mentioned above that long dispute periods are great for security, but there seems to be an inherent trade-off. Long dispute periods are bad for OR adoption since any user that wants to withdraw their funds from optimistic rollups needs to wait, say, seven days until their funds are withdrawn. But they don't see this be a problem and there are some potential solutions to expedite this process. So they say, due to this potentially large withdrawal delay, we expect market makers to jump in and offer faster withdrawal services. This is possible because someone who validates the L2 state can correctly judge if a withdrawal is fraudulent or not and hence buy it at a small discount for their services. So example, you know, Alice has five ETH on L2, 
Bob has 4.95 ETH, a layer one and a market maker smart contract and is running a verifier on the L2. So step one, Alice lets Bob know that she wants a fast withdrawal, offering him a 0.05 ETH fee. Alice initiates a withdrawal to Bob's market maker smart contract. And so Bob can either check the withdrawal and see if it's valid on L2 and approve the fast withdrawal, or Bob's verifier alerts him that transaction is not valid and he doesn't, you know, process the withdrawal. And so this is a way that, you know, Alice can get her funds instantly, assuming that she's honest and would significantly cut down on this withdrawal time. All right. So that's why I'm so incredibly bullish on optimistic rollups shipping on Ethereum in March. Again, this is huge. It's going to significantly cut down the gas cost for the Ethereum network right now. Now, that being said, you know, always keep in mind, this is not financial advice. I think this can be a really bullish catalyst for the price of Ether, but there's no guarantees of that happening. But it will greatly increase the value of the Ethereum network itself, which I think long term will correlate with the price of Ether. And another thing to keep in mind, while this solution is coming out very soon, it still may take some time for applications to move to this new layer. I did talk about how there's all this reduced friction for developers to do it, but those applications still have to, you know, be tested, go through some sort of alpha phase. And so we don't know exactly when we're going to see, you know, this wide L2 adoption. Now, I'm going to go back to my original prediction, which I said in January, which I think we will have wide L2 adoption in 2021. I think that's a big enough timeline to see this happen. But I wouldn't necessarily assume that, like, let's say this ships on the 15th of March, that the 16th, you know, Uniswap V3 rolls out and, you know, the world goes nuts. Now, it could happen. But as always, you know, you just want to temper your expectations. So that's all I got for today. As always, hope you like this video. Smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you like this stuff, you're as fascinated with this technology as I am, and you want to learn how to become a blockchain developer today, well, how can you do that? You go to my YouTube homepage, you can find any of my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those, you go into the next step so that you can you know, land a high paying job, become a freelancer, you know, build your own project. Uh, then I can show you how to become a blockchain master step by step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding backgrounds become you know, real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. All right. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.